Okay, Lou Depot back here again, and what we're going to go over is carbon monoxide, what they call CO, or carbon monoxide, the silent killer. And I know it happens with gasoline engines, generators, cars, pickup trucks with caps on it where there's kids riding in the back is very dangerous, boats. But what we're going to be talking about basically is natural gas, because since we're in the plumbing and heating classes here, we're specifically going to be talking about natural gas, propane gas, hot water heaters, and boilers. Uh, carbon monoxide, basically what it is, it's a carbon-based fuel that's been burned or not burned completely. Now, with natural gas, hot water heaters, and boilers, they've designed them for a 10 to 1 mix. That's how natural gas burns. One part natural gas, 10 parts oxygen. It needs that much oxygen to burn. If you burn one cubic foot of natural gas, you would have needed to burn 10 cubic foot of oxygen to make that perfect 10 to 1 burn. And when you get that perfect burn, you have a blue flame underneath another blue bubble. It's, it's almost like blue over blue, a double blue bubble. That's when you know you have that perfect burn in your boiler or your hot water heater, or even on your natural gas stove. Once you start getting those orange points, besides the blue, you start getting those orange flares, then you're not getting that proper 10 to 1 oxygen mix. And I'm going to give you a simple example of it here with this torch. This is a regular torch from Home Depot. They have uh, oxygen ports designed from the manufacturer to pull in a lot of oxygen to burn with the gas. And when you light this torch, it'll be a perfect burn where it's 10 to 1, where you'll see the blue. I'm going to turn out the light for this. And then I'm going to cut off the oxygen and show you the difference where it starts to make carbon monoxide. This is a perfect burn. You can see the blue. It's actually a perfect blue tip. Now watch what happens when I cut off the carbon, the, the oxygen. You see that? I can't keep doing it because I'll kill myself down here. But that's gas burning without oxygen. It's trying to burn, but it's not completely burning. And that's that high orange flare. And that's producing a lot of carbon monoxide. Now, when you burn natural gas and oxygen perfectly, you get carbon dioxide, which is fine going out the chimney. The problem happens in people's houses when the carbon dioxide can't get out. So even if you have a perfect burn, say there's a bird's nest in the chimney, the smoke pipe on the hot water heater is reduced from 4 inch to 3 inch, for some reason the carbon monoxide can't get out and up the chimney completely. For any reason there's some kind of a disruption or blockage. That carbon dioxide now floats back into the basement where the, the, the appliance is burning and takes the place of the oxygen. So now after a while of burning, instead of the natural gas mixing with oxygen and making a perfect burn, you have natural gas and carbon dioxide mixing and trying to burn. And that doesn't happen. When that happens, you get carbon monoxide. So even with a perfect burn of 1 to 10 or 10 to 1, you can still wind up getting carbon monoxide, the, the, the killer, by having a, a, a small blockage, and I'm going to demonstrate it on the whiteboard. Um, this is going to be a three-part class because it's getting kind of long, so we're going to cut them into three parts, so we'll go on in a minute. 